ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back after quite a lengthy break to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas where we're um, on the road south through here um, south of Prim is this, this is south of Prim, right? Yeah it is, isn't it? Down here on the I-15 um, looking for why a bunch of caravans or something have been missing and stuff and things and you know the usual stuff um <coughs> Jesus Christ, that was a hell of a sneeze. Hopefully I managed to edit that one out. <clears throat> right, yeah. I know guys, it's been a bit of a break in the video uploads on this channel lately. Main reason for that is, well, there's a bunch of stuff. Um, a few real life things getting in the way. Plus, uh, I've made a bunch of new hardware upgrades and I've realised I'm sitting a little close to this microphone right now. It's a bit finicky with its whole audio levels type thing. I got a new microphone. It's a blue Yeti, for those of you that are genuinely curious. Um, it's a great new microphone, it's awesome. It's got a built-in preamp, all sorts of fun stuff like that. Big, big improvement over the old one. Only problem is it's um, a little bit... has a tendency to over-modulate a bit, because it's way louder than my old microphone. My old microphone I had to turn up in editing a huge, huge amount so that the video wasn't super quiet. Uh, I don't have to do that with this one I, uh, anymore. Um, which is nice. I also don't have to mess around with the bass and treble too much or anything like that, so it's all really good. Um, yeah, I got a bunch of new hardware upgrades. New uh, microphone, uh, third monitor now, and uh, I also got a new internet connection, um, which is awesome as well, but in the midst of getting all of this crap set up, I haven't really had much time to do this whole recording thing. Um, I've done plenty of streaming, um, and to be honest with you, the main reason I upgraded my internet connection was so that I could actually stream in non-horrible shitty potato quality. So that actually does mean that on the channel we're um, you're going to hopefully be able to see a few stream vods in future. You know, that aren't terrible, terrible quality and actually cancer on the eyes to watch. Um, so there you go. So really, that's that's the brief explanation part over for why I've been a bit absent. Basically, been upgrading the channel, essentially, spending lots of bloody money. Um, but I've ticked a few more things off the list now of stuff that I need to get sorted, so I guess that's good. What the... hang on a second. What is that? Jesus, that is hideous, whatever that is. Um... Kill it with fire, please, before it lays eggs. Oh, Jesus, it's coming this way. A giant reaver. Dead, don't know. With a lot of health, apparently. Oh, not anymore. There you go. Made up for all the introductory rambling bollocks by shooting a new thing that we've never seen before. There you go. New form of life. Never seen it before. What do we do? whip out a 303 rifle and shoot it in the face. Wow, it's actually just... It's... yeah. Wow, okay. I quite literally shot its face off. Fair enough. Interesting. Well... Um, let's see. I'm guessing what we're looking for probably isn't in here. hurt the ones we care about the most. Thank you for that sage piece of advice, um, Veronica, but... What the... Oh, da, 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 da. You know what, guys, you just... Have fun. You know, having a small army around with you is usually quite useful, but sometimes it's really not. Let's, let's review the notes here. There we go. This is a, a, a Randall always gives us one of these little bounty things here, and I never bother to read them. I probably should, shouldn't I? Be doing my job properly that way. Hmm. Sorry, just sipping a cup of coffee as I do this. Okay. Property of Randall and Associates. Target unknown. Race unknown. Allegiance slash faction unknown. Location vicinity of Mojave outpost. Notes. Disappearances in the wasteland are hardly noteworthy. You're telling me, but. 
The NCR has detected a steady pattern of abductions along the highway north of the Mojave outpost. Over the years, countless drifters have passed through, claiming to have knowledge of an o elusive oasis in the Mojave, only to vanish in the wastes. Naturally, these were chalked up as casualties of the wasteland, but the number of disappearances has grown in recent months. What spurred the NCR's investigation was the inexplicable disappearance of a lawman from Needles, and then the equally perplexing disappearance of his brother who was searching for his lost sibling. This is all this all points to something nefarious, but leads are scarce. Your best bet is to comb the highway for any clues that could lead you in the right direction. Good luck, Randall. And that's basically what we're doing, although it's starting to get a bit dark out, which is, you know, not good. And uh, I have to apologise because I am a little bit distracted by the fact that the web browser open on my monitor, my third monitor now to the right, seems to be like highlighting and unhighlighting bits of text as I play New Vegas here. And it's very fucking distracting because it keeps popping on and off on, the, on my right hand side. And I'm, you, you know guys by now that I'm someone who's very easily distracted. So, anyway. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's continue. Um, what should we do? What should we do? It, it is getting a bit dark. It's getting to the point where are we even going to find anything? Um, I don't know how dark it is for you guys at home watching, but it's pretty bloody dark for me. Mostly because I'm sat in front of a big old window at the minute. It's the middle of the day. It's actually a beautiful day outside. I'd, I'd kind of rather be out there enjoying the sun than sat here. Um, recording this video, <laughs> but you know, the sacrifices I make for YouTube, eh? Yeah, this is probably the least useful weapon under the circumstances. This is a bit better. Anything hiding up in the old gas station other than trees popping in out of nowhere? Okay. What's my hotkey flashlight thingy? Whoa, hello. Oh, 360 no scoped. Suck on that one, Rad Scorpion. Um, where's my bloody hotkey for my flashlight? No, that's hand grenades. Well, no, that's switch hand grenades. The one next to it is actually throwing hand grenades, so let's not mess around with that one too much. Oh, that's fat. No. X. No, no. Z. G. Oh dear! Uh, it didn't. Thank God for that. It didn't actually throw the grenade. Jesus Christ. Why switch view? Since when? Apologies here, ladies and gentlemen. I, I know there are, you're all stood here looking at me funnily as I try and remember how to switch on my bloody torch. I know, I, it's one of these buttons here. I, stupid thing, I... Come on. No, oh god, no, it's not that one. Oh, it's not the slow down time button. It's not the stealth boy either. Oh, forget it. I'll just use the pit boy light instead. Not sure why I expected to find anything in there. Door to Nipton Road gas station locked hard. Oh well. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Veronica, are you any good at lock picking? Because we're about to find out. Uh. Oh no, we don't do it through this, do we? We, we use another menu, which I have forgotten the key for. Ah, oh, dear me. Okay. Uh, here we go. Do, 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 do. Aha! Success chance very poor. Oh, dear. Well, uh, what about you, Russell? Very poor. I don't suppose... This action can only be performed by a human. But I'm I'm very sorry, but the 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 menu is being terribly racist, and there's not much I can do about that. And I'm I'm gonna guess that that's, this isn't gonna apply to Rex either. Yeah, I kind of felt like checking just in case it didn't, and I would have laughed heartily. But you know, I 
No, this place is as, is as empty as I left it. Well, whatever's been causing a ruckus, it's it's not in here. Uh, Rex, please, thank you. That <laughs> photograph, I have to keep forgetting that thing exists. Uh oh. Hmm. Okay. Uh oh. Right. Yes. Reload. Clicking the trigger there and wondering why it's not firing. Well, at least I can briefly see where we're going whenever Veronica punches something. Crimson Scorpion. A horrible vial of Crimson Scorpion Squeezins. You de decline to reminisce on the actions you took to procure this vial of Squeezins. Yeah, it's, I, I don't want any. Blue Moon. You saw me standing alone. Without a flashlight button or any idea where to go. Where's New Canaan, anyways? Good question. Guess we better just continue up this way. I mean, the Mojave outpost is just up there, so. I cannot see shit. Do I have any jars of cat eye? Do I have any jars of cat eye? Yes, I do. Oh my days, that's much better. Okay, right then. Now we're in business. Long term health effects may include blindness, um, loss of sense of smell, uh, carcinogens. Inability to taste. Um, impotence. Put him down. And um, extreme sensitivity to light. But right now, it's pretty bloody useful. And you know, you really need your eyes checking when you see a rock in the distance and assume it's a ghoul. Oh, hello. Really? Oh, good heavens. See, this is one of those times when I'm actually glad I do have a small army of people following me around. Come on. You, my son, got bad motherfuckered right in the head. Uh uh. Apparently, I'm gonna hurt you. You're gonna like it. Apparently, my shotgun shells are not doing anything to that thing. Never mind, I've got this. Is it dead or has it run off? Oh, good heavens! It's not dead. Oh, okay, we've, we've found a small farm. Farm? Family is what I meant to say. I really need to get some weapons that are a little bit better at piercing. I'm not going to call it armor, but... What have we here? Some small camp of some description. More of these guys. They have glowing eyes. I've never noticed this before. Do I have any other ammunition for this thing? No, I don't. Gotcha. Nice one. Oh! Shot his head clean off. Excellent. That's more like it. Is that thing alive, or is it just... I think it's a dead scorpion. 
Oh god, there's more of them. Didn't quite kill it. Not terribly observant, are they? Oh. I'd rather keep it that way. With your name on it. Cunt. You can hear all the rounds jingling down the side of the hill. Um... Mesquite Mountains Campsite. Jason. Friend of yours, perhaps. Observation Corpse Dweller. Cave Mutant Blood. Surprisingly valuable. On the other hand, I'm not generally in the practice of bloodletting random corpses I run across. What is this what is this thing we found? Observation corpse dweller. A corpse dweller is a very strong ghoul with its with thin skin. With its normal form, it often falls over when you are attacking it. It is a very common ghoul, one of the most common mutations to Kai Ki, the rest of the sentence and oh right, the rest of the sentence to, and most of the next are cut out cut out out. Why did I pronounce that with a German accent? I don't know. Um I don't know what's up with me today, guys. I'm sorry. Um, Ted, that using weapons that damage badly but attack quickly are very effective as opposed to the contrary. So basically shoot it with the sterling and you'll be good. You don't fancy a barbecue. Caught out in the wilderness, and I can't even make a cup of tea. How dreadful. Schematics for a dart gun. And, uh, could I possibly take all of those? Thank you. Uh, Wasteland Survival Guide. Have I not already read this? Apparently not. Wonder glue. I'm sure I'll be able to find a use for it. Gosh, it's been ages since I played this game and did any crafting. I can't remember what I even need for stuff. Oh, start cap, nice. What are you barking about? Calm down. All right, well. I've been up here before. Uncharted territory is this. <sighs> Guys, don't knock things over like that. It makes me very twitchy. Truly, you bloody things are a plague. And where did you all come from, eh? You only seem to have appeared within the last month or so. Must have, they must have migrated because of the time of year or something. I, I, God knows. Oh, more scorpions. I don't like this. I don't like running around in the hills in the middle of the night surrounded by horrible mutant beasties. This is very stupid. And frankly, we ought to put a stop to it. Oh, more ghoul mutant thingies. Jolly good. Hello, Prim. Hmm. That's a cactus. That's a cactus. It's not a monster. What on earth is wrong with you, Crumpington? I, I don't know. That's a monster, though. And my cat I just ran out. There we go. 
good grief. I actually cannot see a damn thing. More Cadite. Thank you very much. Um, so, there's the outpost. We're here. Suppose I should keep combing the mountainside. Uh, let's have a look. Is there any useful information here? Investigate. Just investigate the disappearances. Fine, fine, fine. Nice and specific. You get investigate the disappearances and cull the local wildlife, apparently. Oh, never. Don't ever say I didn't do the world of service once in a while. Look at that glowing down there. It's good old Rex apparently being able to sniff out garbage bins that I've not looted. Well, he's a robot dog. He is a cybernetic super dog from the future, guys. Come on. Let's be fair. Uh, well, I mean, really, where am I? Hang on a minute. What? Okay, guys, I have a bad feeling about this. You scan the crudely drawn map and notice a location to the west, marked as shelter. Okay. This way. Well, come on, it's the best we've got to go on. It's not every day you find a skeletal arm clutching a map in the middle of the road, is it? Come on. I don't suppose you have any bright suggestions. No, any of you? No? No, okay. Well, we're going to find the shelter on the map. We're really close to the outpost, aren't we? Look at that. If, you know, if this is what we're looking for, it's been right under their bloody noses the whole time. You know what? The, uh, I think I've accused them of this before, but they truly are criminally incompetent, the NCR, aren't they? I mean, if one idiot wearing a hat and a moustache and... With a robot dog, a mutant, a um, you got a death wish? walking piece of toast, and then you can find this bloody place right next to their outpost. Then really, just just God help us all, honestly. One idiot who I might add cannot remember how to turn on his his, his flashlight. Seriously, cannot I can't, cannot remember the button. Well, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Aha. Hatch to Mago's bunker. Strikes me as shotgun territory, ladies and gentlemen. What do we got? Flechette rounds. Oh yes. Now that's what I should be using on the armoured beasties. You've discovered a bunker filled with food and numerous amenities. A strange departure from the hostility of the wastes. You catch a scent of Brahmin steak, apparently fresh off the grill. As your appetite surges, you hear the distinctive cat crackle of an intercom down the steps. Okay. Good grief, yes, look at that. Purified in water. About time. God, I'm thirsty. Just, there we go. Well, I was thirsty. I'm actually not now. Interesting. I thought I was really thirsty. That's awkward, isn't it? It was like, I'm really thirsty, except I've suddenly realized I'm actually not. Look at all that nuka cola. Can we, can we carry all this? 
between? Yeah, of course we can. Ooh. Lad's life. Pre war books. Brahmin steak. Potatoes? Fresh potatoes? Yes. I don't have a good feeling about any of this, actually, but... Really? After all this time, you're still concerned that Nipton might be in trouble? Mr. New Vegas really isn't up to date on the latest news, is he? Hello. Hello, Hal. You let me open this door? No, Dave, I'm sorry. I can't let you do that. Yeah. <sighs> Hello, traveller. Welcome to my humble abode. Please help yourself to the food. You must be famished. Who are you? And why is your intercom of such incredibly high quality? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Mago. At your service. Um. Why are you doing this? Isn't it reckless to invite lunatics like me in to, to eat all of your food and stuff? Then again, you are hiding on the other head of a bulkhead door. So, you know, point taken. I'm doing this because I've suffered the unforgiving trials of the waste. I have felt terrible, crippling hunger that pushes a man beyond reason. I discovered this shelter in one of my countless peregrinations. And in the course of time, I've set out to create an oasis of philanthropy. That's, um... That's very noble of you. Oh, stop it. You're too kind. Please, enjoy a hot meal. It's the least I can do. When you're ready to leave, just speak over the intercom. When you're ready... Hang on a minute, what? Just a second. What the... What? How did that happen? I didn't see that earlier either. Okay. Um, there we go. I hope you enjoy the rest, friend. What can I do for you? Um, you are a gracious host, but I simply must be going now. I have things to do. People to see. Um, I'm sure you. I'm sure you understand, right? Right. You've been an exceedingly amicable guest, but I'm afraid I cannot meet your request. I have other plans, you see. Despite the din of the intercom, you are able to make out a peculiar noise overhead. As you look up, you become lightheaded and feel overwhelmed with a warm, relaxing sensation. You wake up in a daze, stripped of your belongings, and soon struggle to your feet. You notice a strange man eyeing you beyond the bars. You suspect he's your captor. Ah, you awake. You're even more vigorous than I had anticipated. Very good. Why? What, what the hell is going on and why can't I see anything? You're in a cell in my bunker. I'm afraid this is the end of the line, my friend. It's a matter of survival, really. What can I say? The wasteland really brings out that war of all against all quality. I I can't quite hear you. Lean a, a little closer, could you? You must be deaf. I suppose there's little danger. You're still half sedated, not to mention unarmed. Very well. I was saying... Ugh. Oh dear. <laughs> Attempt to choke Mago. Get your hands off me, you damn dirty ape! Oh, okay. I can see now. How on earth did he manage to get us all in here? Hello, Bob. Uh, I really need to work on my fisty cuffs, don't I? 
Oh, Jesus Christ, what has happened to my feet? He's cut off all my toes! Ah! That's actually horrifying. You guys all still got your stuff. Russell, you have a, a rifle! Why didn't you... You fucking imbeciles. Right. Irradiated water. I think not. Oh, he didn't take my pit boy. Um. Or the camera. Hello. It's time, my friend. Any last words? Uh. I, there's no chance I can talk you out of this, is there? I'm afraid not. Don't worry. I'll be quick about it. Yeah, I. You insolent little fool! Nothing to say now, motherfucker. Why didn't you do that earlier? <laughs>